All right, guys, for today, I'm just getting the car in the garage, getting it up on jack stands and starting to tear it apart. I took off the carbon fiber hood, which will be an easy 200 bucks is my hope. It's a, it's a knockoff brand, but it fits really well and it's already got hood pins. So I think if I package it with the hood pins themselves and the latches, 200 bucks, I'm hoping that's what I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna start simple. I'm gonna take the strut tower bar off. And I forgot that the strut towers are different on the Civic. So is upper control arms. So that's not gonna work, but it's okay. Since all the wheels are coming off and so are the axles, what I'm gonna do before I get the car up on jack stands is go ahead and break loose the front axle nuts. So those big bad boys right there. Um, you gotta use a screwdriver to dent that key out of the way, the little part that's indented for the axle. But go ahead and just break those loose while the car's on the ground. It's so much easier, especially if you have the car in the air because you need to use a nice big cheater bar for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and break both those loops on the front axles and um, then hopefully we can get the car up in the air and then take the tires and wheels off. And then I might put these wheels, which are old school Integra GSR rims and they have the Acura center caps. I'm gonna try to put those on the Civic. Car is off the ground, on jack stands. Wheels are all broken loose. I actually forgot to loosen the lug nuts whenever, when the car was on the ground. But if you guys wanna know a trick, if you ever do that where your car is up in the air and you have not loosened your lug nuts, get like a hockey stick or some sort of baseball bat or some sort of stick that you can wedge between the seat back and the brake pedal and push it down there and wedge it on. And your brake calipers will actually hold your wheels in place so you can break them loose. So let's take these bad boys off and I might be calling a night after that. I'm, I'm a little tired, it's late. Guys, I got three kids, I'm married, I got a full-time job. I have 
two other YouTube channels. This is my third channel that I'm starting recently for this project. So if you guys are new, please subscribe. I'm definitely feeling these rims. I think they'll be a good backup. I mean, the tire is in good condition. The tires are actually got a lot of tread left. I'm gonna rock these. I was even thinking if those were painted black and the center caps were painted black, they probably look pretty good. They almost look like like Rota slip strings a little bit, kind of, kind of. Let's see. I'm gonna check out the suspension. I want to show you guys. So calipers look to be in good shape. Let's see pad life. I'm gonna replace the pads anyways, but. Springs and struts look like they're rusted a little bit. Upper control arm, can't use that, but control arms look good. CV boots are all good. Steering rack is leaky, which that's okay. But not bad. Not too shabby at all. A lot of the components that I think I'm gonna run into, like the rear sway bar, all the plastic coating had come off of it, so I'm gonna have to take that off probably sand it down a little bit with some um, sandpaper and then just repaint them again and seal them. But I'll probably, I'm thinking about trying to do that with all the arms, get them powder coated or just put them back on. It just depends on what I want to do with the suspension. But, yep. Oh man, at least the inside fender wells are okay. Brake lines. What I'm planning to do is actually transfer the entire subframe and upper control, not the upper control arms, but the knuckle, lower control arms, and the subframe on the front along with the shock and the strut. I'm planning to take those and literally drop those into the Civic. So put those up and take out the Civic when I put this one in because um, it all fits except for the upper control arm and the, um, I wanted the front brake conversion and the rear brake conversion. So. I'm hoping it all fits, but that is the plan to drop it and then I'll probably disassemble, clean it up, and then go from there. But Alright, here's the passenger side. Same thing with the brakes. CV boot is a little bit cracked. It definitely looks like it's the original one or a little bit older. But same thing with the shock body. A little bit rusted on the perch and the spring. But that's easy enough. Axe, the steering boot on this side is a little bit leaky too, but... Definitely the end links and the sway bar will need to be replaced. But yeah, let's go check out the rear now. Um, rear calipers, I actually expect those to need to be replaced to be honest because the e-brake doesn't work. Because, and I figured it was probably just seized up in there but um, e-brake lines might be able to transfer. Sorry guys, sweat. I'm hoping they transfer. Yeah, bushings will need to be replaced like I thought. Dog bone looks okay, rear strut's okay, but knuckles okay. I mean, the whole rear suspension is gonna transfer over. Um, for but there it is, like the sway bar I was talking about. It literally just it just peels right off and just flakes off. I already peeled off most of it, but clean all this stuff up and then get it out. Wow, that's crazy. The bleed brake line. I don't even know if you could bleed the brakes, to be honest. If any of you guys are Honda guys and you have an Integra and you want any parts like these Type R side skirts, I have the Type R rear valances, they're all knockoffs. Um, but if there's any parts in this car, including the interior that you might need, or body panels for that matter, let me know in the comments below. Send me a message. Um, I'm going to get an email set up eventually. But as this car gets parted out, if any of you guys are looking for parts and I have the parts, let me know. I got parts. I got lots of parts. Minus the engine and the suspension. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna call it night. We'll see you guys next episode. Peace.